Hey everyone, welcome to uh, the Marfion Man Cave. Hey, um, everybody knows that we're getting ready for Blade Show along with everybody else. We just wanted to kind of give you a sneak peek of a few things that we're going to be debuting at the show. So, um, oh, so many great pieces and we're gonna have a couple late bloomers that'll probably be hitting over the next couple days too that we'll try to get some video maybe on the fly and some pictures and some things, but Man, I just don't know where to start. We got such a great spread. Let's start with some of the more simple pieces. Um, you know, I, I know we've posted some pictures and some things, but the, you know, the the, the flag knives that our team did, super super sexy, um, in, embellished with the 1776 deep cut uh, logo and the um, um, uh, the Anthony Marfione uh, signature series as well. So, very cool piece. I love it. Uh, being that you know, you know, as uh, most people do know, that my birthday is on the fourth of July. And um, so this would definitely be one um, I'm definitely gonna score for myself to carry. But neat piece, neat, neat piece. Um, going down the line, you know, we've been running some of the uh, frag pattern G10 tops. So we have some uh, all blacked out tacticals and different variations, uh, green G10, black G10, and so forth. So, um, where's another one? Oh, here we go. You know, some uh, all DLC, blacked out, shadow, um, you know, Warhounds and Hellhounds. This one I love very, very much. Um, they did some Akoras, all blacked out, uh, DLC, deep engraved black tactical with the bubble inlays. This is such a hot piece. Again, it's gonna be really hard to uh, resist getting one of these pieces uh, slapped up in the collection, but um, very sexy, can't wait. Of course, you know, we'll have some of the, what we consider to be our themed knives in different configurations. Um, Exciting for those who love those and of course my favorites being the uh, sand troopers I know that they're gonna be bringing a few sets of um, Hellhound and Warhound configurations super sexy love those a ton Let me see what else we got here Oh, very very cool finally getting the all temp ran through the shop um, These are again super sexy all DLC components um, including a DLC slider and, um, and, and other tricks up our sleeve so these are magna cuts uh, for those that have been waiting for this so we're going to have these in the utx 85s as well as um, full-size ultra tech so i'm not sure of the blade configurations at this point but uh, our team did an unbelievable job on these these have also a little bit of a, a new upgrade sort of mechanism to shoot like a million bucks these are super super sexy so um really excited about releasing those at the blade show um, everybody's been asking the Blade Show special this year. Really cool piece. Black G10 top, uh, Ultra Tech with a modified bayonet blade in Magna Cut. Um, brought to you all, all apocalyptic. Blade is uh, apocalyptic two tones. So super, super sexy. I didn't get a chance to sharpen this one today. Um, I definitely was on the wheel, but um, this is going to be awesome. So definitely come and see us. There's a very, very limited amount of these that are going to be produced for the show, but ton of value and a ton uh well, we like to give a little something back um going down through the customs oh i'm sorry failed to see that there is a all blacked out or dlc arbiter full serrated with um carbon fiber and uh, bronze hardware so i love that configuration one of my favorite fixed blades a little trivia just for uh, folks that don't know. My son Adam uh, Marfione designed this knife and his, uh, his drawing was very accurate. So um, if you wonder where the Arbiter came from, it came from Adam Marfione. So neat contribution to the company and it's been running ever since. Of course, we'll have some of the, you know, Bastinelli Creations um, uh, collaboration pieces there, I'm sure with uh, some Brachial and some other things. Of course, definitely expect, you know, MSI and Stitch and um and some other really cool things as well so talking about bastion uh, bastion uh, uh Kovis, uh this is a um diamond washed all dlc version of the hypnotic uh super super sexy bro these just came in and they came out unbelievable um i brought one home i had to get one so we'll have a, a very limited number of these as well but they turned out really sexy um again going down the line you know, some offerings from my son, Sean Marfione and his crew. You know, of course the, uh, you know, the uh, Warhound series that he has is just so, so beautiful. The work that the team did on these, uh, including my son, Sean is, is impeccable. So they're, 
their calibrations, accuracy, finishes, and everything are top, top, top tier um, in, in, in every respect. This one I especially love. It has uh, the uh, um, galactic acid uh, finish that the guys have put on these. It looks like lightning strikes. It just, it's incredible. And of course, with liquid metal finish blades, we'll have a few of those. Um, and I think a few different adaptations of, uh, again, I love the Baker Forge steel. Um, we did some uh, Hellhounds uh, this run, uh, Hellhound Tano, all DLC components um, with uh, copper. Um, so sexy, so sexy. I love this. You guys did such a great job on this. Super excited. Um, other than that, we have a few of the Glycon, um, just a couple different Glycon variations. I had some different uh, cuts of material. I, like this one here is just a single one-off Bob Engerling Damascus in a hot blue. And um, of course, some of the ones that uh, we've been talking about is the you know, um, the steel that came out of uh, Broken Anvil from my, my bro, Charlie uh, Bridges, he did these pieces, which we'll, we'll talk about a little bit further with some 1940s uh, coins that he incorporated into the folds of the steel. These are so freaking sexy, so freaking sexy. Can't believe it. This one here, especially, um, we ended up using some um, uh, World War II, uh, World War II German phenolic could have come on off some uh, grips of a, uh, of a machine gun or something along those lines, but it came out extremely, extremely gorgeous. So thanks to my bro at uh, Hawk's Nest uh, Custom for getting me that cool material. And um, we can't wait. I think I'm keeping one of these for sure, if not two. There's only a couple, but um, again, uh, pretty Redfield um, dragon skin of all things with galactic acid sides on the, on the um, on the Glycon, we also have some UTX 70s as well that have um, uh, Birdie's blades. Uh, you know, Birdie's one of my favorite makers, and also uh, I love his dragon skin. Uh, our team does just an impeccable job of getting different colors. So let me see what else we have here. Of course, um, you're going to definitely see some adaptations of the new Amphibian, and um, stay tuned for that in some high polish uh, diamond uh, diamond wash DLC and some other great tricks. Um, I'm, I'm excited about these in carbon fiber and also in titanium. Um, also, uh, a few pieces that uh, uh, Charlie and I did, these came out just incredible. Uh, I'm almost lost for words when I hold this knife, but um, Charlie just did an amazing job on his adaptation of these steels and came down for an entire week and I feel bad I worked them to death, but we had an unbelievable time in the creation and the final grinding and finishing of these pieces. So definitely take a closer look. It has a uh, combo logo, super, super sexy pieces. Uh, again, come see it at the Blade Show. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and close up for the night. Uh, definitely stay tuned for some great things. I even think they may, and I'm not gonna hold anybody to it, but they may have some things available on the gear site uh, for those of you that can't make it to the Blade Show, we're going to put a very, very limited amount of really cool things. So, not sure exactly what we're going to put on there, but I believe they'll be dropping either Friday or Saturday. I'm not 100% sure, but um, definitely stay tuned. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing family and friends out at the show. This is our biggest event of the year, uh, a time where we, you know, we hustle up and uh, we get a chance to see uh, family and, and others. So, stay tuned and uh, definitely have a wonderful Sunday. We thank you, we appreciate you. Have a good night.